and we're live. Welcome to our next guest. We have the wonderful Ron Williams, who is also the CEO and founder of Hoodle. And I cannot wait for you guys to hear this story. But as we know, first things first. This is Honey Badger Nation where real estate agents from around the globe come together to grow, collaborate, and expand their business. Where we take our individual fires and put them together and make one big fire. This is the Honey Badger Nation. Tara, hey, how are you? I'm doing wonderful. You know, I am really excited for my audience to get to know Ron Williams and the game-changing platform known as Hoodle. Wow. Well, I'm I'm happy to share it. It's been a it's been a fascinating journey and continues to be. And uh, by the way, that was an awesome uh, intro there. Isn't that cool? Yeah, that's very cool. <laughs> yeah, I got to get one of those. So let's uh, let's tell my audience a little bit about Ron Williams, how we went from, you know, Ron Williams to CEO of Poodle. Let's kind of start in the beginning. Uh, well, all right. So um, real briefly, so t uh, Tamara started in real estate, became a realtor with Coldwell Banker, um, as, as you were, I think, as well early on yes. uh, back in 2001. And um, I pretty quickly, once I became a realtor, I started to realize a couple of things. One was, you know, one was there's a lot of realtors. You know, there's, <laughs> there's, the, the many of the markets, even back in 2001, were kind of saturated and, um, you know, and, and even more so today. And uh, really felt like, OK, if I'm going to get big, if I'm going to become uh, you know, somebody that's referred out, that sought out and stuff, I got to specialize. And, um, you know, started to look at, well, how can I niche down? And uh, discovered, a, you know, went and did a lot of different niches. And then ultimately, um, a lot of them that, that were not great niches. And then ultimately, a couple of years in, uh, started to look at new construction. And that's where I started to find um, it was is not only is there a big space, but it also a lot of problems in new construction. And um, so uh, I started with, go ahead, I'm sorry. Oh, no, you're fine. You're fine. So you got into the game of real estate and realized that you have a lot of competition out there. Yeah, absolutely. And, you know, one of the problems that, and, and I think all realtors have to face this moving forward is that, there are so much competition and it's not just that there's a lot of realtors, but it's that we've become commoditized where we're all kind of doing the same thing as everybody else, the same basic functions. You know, if I get a listing, I, when I get a listing, I stick a sign in the yard, I do a flyer, I put it on the MLS, I do an open house, you know, and if we're really techy and, and, you know, and uh, have our processes down, maybe we do, you know, an email blast or something else. But the problem with that is if we're all doing the same thing, then, then nobody sees anything different between, you know, me and you and, and 10,000 others in the local market. And that's just not a good place to be. And so what I realized was that the way to grow fast, if I didn't want to wait for the next 30 years to be the, you know, the, the last man standing, uh, and I didn't have a big marketing budget. The way to grow fast is to niche and to, you know, I, I think that the way I think about it with realtors today is that there's three things that we need to do to develop. We need to develop authority and we need to develop a unique value proposition, if you will. I've got to have something, you know, that is uniquely valuable to a, a set of buyers and sellers. And I have to be different, you know, so uh, they all kind of go hand in hand. But you can't be the authority on every single thing on REOs and raw land and new construction and Victorian homes and first time buyers and relocation and on and on. You just can't. So for me, the, the first thing was just, okay, identify a niche and then 
begin to dive into that. I, I think that's, I, I think all agents really need to define, you know, just where they fit best, where, you know, where they can offer more value. Because to be honest, you can't, you can't hit all of the niches and then be at the top of your game. Yeah, but you know, we still see so many realtors that are that are generalists. And I get it because, you know, I started there too. It's like where why would you ever want to say no to a lead, whether it's a buyer lead or a seller lead? You know, we got to go, 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 go and get all that we can get and get the next transaction. And and uh, but ultimately you can't be an authority. And the part of the problem is to me, uh, not to go down this this uh, uh, avenue too too far, but you know, you learn something, you learn a new domain, let's call it raw land or a farm property in my area in central Illinois or, or something else. And you learn everything about it and you got the, you know, you got the comps down and all this stuff. And then you go the next week or next month, you're doing something completely different. And so all this body of knowledge that I've got and everything that I got, I basically just set it on the shelf. Now let's go learn something. Yeah, it's all real estate but they're completely different venues. So. Oh, for sure. So, so how did you make that transition? How did, how did you determine that you was going to go with the new construction niche? Well, um, it is interesting because um, I didn't start off thinking well, I'm going to become a new construction specialist. I had no idea about Hoodle or the, that we were going to do this or even that this was a, a, a needed thing. Um, but one of the things that was interesting about new construction is for me initially is like when you're working with builders and developers, it's like you're, you know, they're kind of like a professional FISBO, if you will. I mean, they, you know, one of the interesting things about being a realtor is I, I go get a listing, line it up and, and uh, list the property, sell the property. And guess what? I'm out of a job again. I got to go find the next listing. And to me, it was like, okay, well, how can I create a relationship uh, with somebody who, you know, once I've got that relationship in place, instead of doing one transaction, I can do five or 10 or 20 transactions. Mm -hmm. And um, for me, that was new construction. Now, the other thing when I got into new construction that I found out really early on is that there are a lot, a lot of new construction buyers and they're not, but they're, they're kind of closet new construction buyers. They're not coming out and saying, hey, I want to build a new home. Um, mm -hmm. But there's there's many, many people that have this idea of a, of a dream home. In fact, we think it's about 60%. Uh, and not and those are not my numbers. Those are NAR's numbers. But and, and others who have researched it. But when they ask buyers, just home buyers, would you rather have new than used? About 60% year in, year out will say, yeah, we'd rather have a new home. Mm -hmm. And so for me, I started to discover that, okay, there's a big gap in the way new construction is being done. There's a lot of buyers. There are extraordinarily few realtors. The numbers are, are absolutely shocking. And the first thing that I did, uh, to back to your question was, when I started it, I started go to go learn the inventory. And I really wanted to start figuring out, well, you know, how does this process work? What are the neighborhoods where people can build? Who are the builders and, and how does all this fit together? And um, what I, I started to find that was that surprised me was that about 65% um, of new home neighborhoods are never listed. They never make it to the MLS. And um, for me, that was, you know, it, it, I mean, when I started looking at the buyer journey with new construction, the very first thing that they have to answer is they, they pretty much know what they want to build, right? They, they have a dream home. They, a lot of times they've had that dream home for years and years, uh, but they don't know where, what are their options on where they can build it. They know a few of them, but as we know, you know, with something as big as building a home, I want to know all my options, not just a few. I mean, I want to drive through every neighborhood. I want to narrow it down pretty quickly, but at least I want to know that I, I don't care about as a buyer, well, whether or not it's on the MLS, all I care about is the right neighborhood for me to build my house. And um, we started to get into this and I couldn't believe it. It was just like, 
every week um, I was discovering more and more and more neighborhoods that were, I would drive out to them and other realtors would say, hey, Ron, there's one that I dropped by on the way to work, or there's this one, that one. And I drive out there and sometimes there's only two or three or four lots, but it's like, wow, this is a cool neighborhood. I, you know, I'm not building today, but if I was, you know, this might be someplace I would consider. And so I started to see this big problem that number one, there's a lot of buyers who want new construction, but they're not doing it for some reason, you know, mm -hmm. and mostly it comes down to this, this sense of it feels risky to them. And, uh, the, and, and the first thing that they stumble on is they can't find the neighborhoods. And so that's kind of where it began for us and uh, was going, okay, I need to create a way to solve that problem for buyers to where they can begin to see the neighborhoods because that's really the first step of their, of the new construction buyer journey. I love it. I love it. So how did you come up with the idea to do Hoodle and, and make it to where it's a platform for not only real estate agents, but also buyers? Well, so it started with, you know, um, and we, I need to solve this problem. And, and I'll go back to what I said earlier. You know, I wanted for me as a realtor with Coal Banker and specializing in new construction, I needed to create authority in the new construction space. I needed to create unique value and I needed to be different than all the other realtors that were in my in my local market. And the first thing that we did was for about a year, I just put together this big notebook, Tamara. I, I don't know if I told you about that, but I had this, you know, I was like, okay, look, if, if Tamara wants to build a house and she knows what she wants to build and she knows how much money she's got roughly. And a lot of times too, when people are building, it's very much about the community. It's not just about the structure. It's about where can I plant that structure? Okay, I want, you know, I, I know that I want to build and I want a three bedroom ranch or I want a walkout basement or whatever, but it's also about the amenities around the house. I want it near a library. I want it near for the kids. I want a tennis court for John. I want a bike trail, I want a horse stable, whatever it is I want. And so it's very much about the community and the neighborhood itself. And I started to kind of recognize this, that, that they were not available. And so I, I had an assistant and I said, look, we've got to create um, a, a directory of all new home neighborhoods in our market. Every single one I want, uh, I don't care if it's got one lot, if it's got a thousand lots, if it's listed, not listed, if it's in the city, if it's out in the woods, doesn't matter. Um, it, buyers deserve to know where they can build. And that's the very first step that they have to answer. And so let's get them all together, the plats, the covenants, the architectural review forms, how many lots are available, size of the lots, price of lots, blah, 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 and amenities. This one has a clubhouse, this one has a pool, this one has a park, et cetera. And what happened was, uh, Tamara, I had this notebook that took us about a year to build. And it was like the day, the, I think it was the very day or the next day that I kind of started telling realtors, I think I got them all. I got all the neighborhood in our market, which is not, I mean, this is no, you know, Salt Lake City or anything. I mean, we're in a small market here. And um, and, and everybody and their mom wanted to borrow the notebook. All, all the, you know, I, I created it for buyers, but realtors were borrowing it. And brokerages were borrowing it. Even home builders were saying, well, hey, can I borrow that? And it, it kind of shocked me because I didn't, I never assumed, I, I, I assumed I was the only one that didn't know all this. And that all the other realtors did and nobody was just telling me. And uh, of course, the builders know every place to build. They don't. And so after, you know, a few months of lending this out and then trying to get it back uh, from Keller Williams and Remax <laughs> and others, you know, it's like, OK, this is crazy. This, you know, I made this for buyers. It's got to go on the web. And we created uh, and I went and hired a team. And I said, look, build a website for me where this notebook has got to go on the web. That's all it was. And, and again, I'm trying to serve new construction buyers and developers and home builders and um, create authority and unique value and solve problem. And so mm, they started to design this website and we called it Hoodle. And um, I remember going in and telling people in the, in the Coldwell Banker office, 
And they said, what are you going to call it? And I said, I'm going to call it Hoodle. And people were like falling out of their chair laughing. What the heck is a Hoodle? Well, it's got a <laughs> meaning, you know. It's, uh, it's kind of like neighborhood and Google. Uh, so it's a search tool for new home neighborhoods, right? Where they could go in they could, you know, basically put in their price and the size of the lot and the size of the home and whatever amenities. And it begins to filter those neighborhoods where they can build. It's only about new construction. And then uh, along the way, the other thing that started to happen was that a lot of the home builders, because I was going out and I'm meeting all the developers and they're like, you're doing what? You're going to create your, what? yeah, I'm going to create a website for, so that people can see all the neighborhoods because they deserve to know. And, um, and uh, you know, a lot of the builders were going, well, hey, I'm not a developer, I'm a builder, but can I be on there too? Because I don't have a website. So two interesting numbers that we, that we found uh, early on, and I, I thought this was just our market, and it turns out it's not, it's pretty much across the United States, that about 65 to 70% of new home neighborhoods at any given point in time are not on the MLS. So if you think about that, you know, and as, as realtors, if we're going, well, here, Mr. And Mrs. Jones, you want to build, here's the three neighborhoods that are available on the MLS that meet your criteria, but yet there's seven or eight more or more, they want to know about those seven or eight others, right? And so, so a large percentage of the neighborhoods are not being presented to the buyers as an option. But then uh, with the builders, about 80% of builders are mom and pop companies. You know, they're small and mid-sized, what they call SMBs, and uh, small, mid-sized uh, businesses, and they don't even have a web presence. And so it was like, you know, a lot of, so we went back to the drawing board, told the programmers, we're gonna have the website Hoodle, it's for new construction buyers, it's for builders and neighborhoods and me. And um, uh, what happened was my personal business began to blow up where um, builders and developers started to see me as being different, providing different value, solving unique problems for them as builders and developers. So it wasn't just I was attracting the buyers, but I was moving into more of a, what I now call a builder marketing partner type of role. And uh, now today I teach realtors all the time, stop thinking about the transaction start thinking about the relationship because the way that a builder wants to operate with you, they may not be operating with you this way, but the way they want to operate with realtors is they want to partner with you uh, and, and they want to partner with a, a handful of realtors. And, and I found this true of big and small builders all over the United States that, the, and I, I just had a conversation with one of the top uh, fast growing builders out in North Carolina the other day told me the same thing. I didn't tell him this. He just told me, he's like, this is the way we want to operate with realtors. Absolutely. I, I think that's, you know, where a lot of the disconnect is between builders and agents is, you know, agents approach it from get a listing, get a listing versus going in and let's develop a relationship and a partnership with this builder and you know, see what we can make happen from there. Not just rush in and go, oh, I want the listing on this development. Yeah, and you know, I mean, um, if you think about it too, I mean, the way that the builder mindset works, the way they operate, and I had this taught to me years ago by one of our local builders, who when we created Hoodle, there's one of the local builders that, that uh, we, we started getting invited to come present to other home builders associations in Chicago and, you know, around Illinois and around the Midwest. And a builder wanted to write up one time and she said, hey, uh, she's a builder and a developer, small builder. And she wanted, she'd already heard the, you know, what Hoodle was about, but she wanted to hear it again. And she wrote up with us and we get to talking. And she said, um, uh, I, I said, so, so, you know, she said, I really like Hoodle, love this idea. Can't wait to get on here, blah, blah, blah. And she said, but, and, and I said, so you want to be on here so you can connect with more realtors, right? And she said, nope, not really. I said, well, what do you mean? She said, well, you know, that's kind of icing on the cake with Hoodle. But she said, the way, she said, Ron, the way that I work with realtors is the way that I work with everybody else. And she said, you know, this year, she said, I'm putting up 30 houses. 
And um, she said, uh, how many roofing companies do you think I'm working with? I went, I don't know, four, five. She said, just one. She's got one roofing company for all 30 houses. Okay. She said, um, how many uh, um, how many electricians do you think I'm working with? I, I don't know, two, three. She said, one. And she said, what about HVAC? I said, one. She said, nope, two. I got two HVAC <laughs> companies. And, and, you know, and she said, the way that we operate is we build a team of subs and and the way that we want to operate with realtors too is to identify a key uh, group of, of realtors that I know, know my company, know my product, understand the relationship that I need and they know how to promote me effectively. And um, so that was kind of eye-opening for me. I, I, I don't know if I answered the question, but I think it went off the left field. <laughs> No, I, I, I think that's great. So let's let's let everyone know just what Hoodle is and who it's for and how they can use it in their own businesses or you know, a buyer may reach out and go, I want to live in this neighborhood. Absolutely. Uh should I share it or or just Absolutely, feel free to share. Uh let me see if I can do that. Um share screen. Oops, hang on a second. Sorry, I got in the wrong place here. That's okay. Technology gets me too. <laughs> okay. All right. I, I think. Is that showing up? I'm adding it now. There we okay. go. All right. So, Tamara, um, what this is, what Hoodle is, is um, uh, a really a one stop shop for new construction buyers that is led by realtors across the United States, uh, where a buyer can go here and begin to uh, very quickly filter down to what are the neighborhoods where I can build, uh, who are the builders that I can build with which builders are building in which area, in which neighborhood, what are the differences between these builders, what kind of floor plans do they have, and uh, on and on. And, and what happened was when I started this, um, and, and forgive me, I don't know if that still shows up on, on yeah, the- Yeah, uh, still see it. The, you still can see it, okay. Um, what happened was um, when I created this, uh, the, a couple of things interesting started to happen is that the uh, the coal banker that I worked for uh, asked if I wanted to meet the the, the CEO of coal banker and uh, he flew in and a wonderful wonderful guy and uh, we met for about an hour and he said you know this is needed all over the United States and um, you know shortly after that I had a very similar experience with the the home builders association and uh, builders were going, hey, we've needed this for a long time. And we, I get invited to present it to about 55 builders. But and and uh, the whole time um, the builders were going, this is kind of like it needs to become like an MLS for home building. Mm -hmm. So what started off as just trying to solve a problem for new home buyers and for builders and developers turns out that it's a problem in every city in the U.S. And, um, and so what we, we started to get invited to uh, come present to other HBAs. And we decided pretty quickly that um, if we were gonna make this available outside of our local market, uh, which was Champaign, Illinois, and I'll show you a little bit about what it looks like. Um, Champaign, Illinois. Um, I think this, so this is our local market, um, which, Ironically, you know, we've kind of we're, we're busy every place else now, but it's not a very big market. I mean, this is about 158 neighborhoods and buyers could go in and they could filter and see, OK, there's 158 places. 60 miles of Champaign where I can build and then which one do I want? What's the lot price? Um, you know, uh, do I want one with a lake or a commons area or or whatever, and that this list is getting extraordinarily long now, uh, as well as what school district do I want to be in from one of my kids in, and and so what happens with it? They, let's say they found this one, 
And this is not a very great page, by the way. This is the first one where the developers, uh, the builders themselves, put the page on. And they didn't pay a whole ton of attention on photography, uh, but they, they put in their plat maps and stuff and other, some other subdivision documents. And lo and behold, they started getting buyers off of this. And uh, the other thing is that they were able to link through to uh, builders who build in that neighborhood. And so we had neighborhood pages and then we created builder pages. And uh, same thing with the builders. Builders are able to add tons of photos and different galleries and videos and floor plans. This one's got 65 different floor plans uh, and, and show the neighborhoods where they build, uh, where they want to be shown up and, and stuff. And so basically what Hoodle has become as um, is a one-stop shop for anybody who wants to build a new home uh, where they can very quickly go and identify who are the builders, what are the neighborhoods, who are the builders, but first and foremost, who are the realtors that specialize in new construction here? So I'm very pro realtor. I believe the buyers deserve, uh, absolutely deserve representation. And so the way that we've created this is that in every market that we open up, the first people to join that are allowed to join are the realtors. And so realtors are creating content and leveraging the platform. They join a private community. We do training every week and they're using this to go get new listings of neighborhoods, get new listings from builders, generate buyer leads. And um, um, yep. So now if a, if a realtor wants to reach out to you, what does that process look like? Well, right now we have the the realtors. Uh, it, it requires a, a conversation. Um, you know, I had a realtor the other day that tried to join, and they said, "Well, where's the realtor button?" And we actually took the realtor button off of the front of the neighborhood, uh, the front of the website. I mean, right now, uh, if you go here today, you can join as a buyer, you could join as a company, but if you join as a company, it only shows for a builder for a developer. And we did that uh, with intention because. We want to make sure that that's the right realtors, you know, in every market. And so the way a realtor would do it is just to reach out to me. Uh, we do webinars every week um, and, and, and different kinds of trainings showing realtors how to get new construction business. And uh, not only with Hoodle, but just in general, you know, here's all the different strategies that you can employ to go out and get a builder to list with you, get a developer to list with you, attract new construction buyers. And so, um, yeah, basically the, the, the best way is to register for one of the webinars or, uh, or reach out to me in person. Okay. And, and we'll uh, drop your information in the, in the link below this so that they have ways to get in touch with you. Excellent. Wonderful. So uh, not to, to, to make this too long, because there's a whole lot of information that we can share. So that just means we have to bring you back and, and do this again. Uh, I would love it. And uh, thank you so much, uh, Tamara. I'm, I'm so glad Absolutely. to see you doing the show. Absolutely. So uh, everyone check out Hoodle. Uh, take a look at it and then uh, get in touch with Ron if you have any questions. And I will provide all of that for you. Uh, but thanks again, Ron. I am so glad that you took time out of your day to spend it with me and, and to share the platform of Hoodle. Yeah, I, uh, thank you so much, too. And I, I want to uh, do the same, uh, Tamara. I'd like to interview you one of these days soon and uh, for our community because uh, you've just got so much uh, value that you're adding to your to uh, all the realtors. And uh, I'm, I'm, uh, I love that we're doing it. So, Well, I have to, you know, I have to put kudos out there to Carla because if it hadn't have been for Carla, I wouldn't have hooked up with Ron. So Car Carla G, she is. She's yep. a legend. Yeah, yeah, that absolutely. She is. Yeah. And, I mean, she's she's quite a hot commodity out there for realtors, so yeah, and and new construction too. Absolutely, I mean, she, she's absolutely. She's taking the whole new construction thing to the absolute next level. I love it. Love to see what she's doing with her team, her team yeah. and, and herself, and they they've really branded themselves uh, in the Tampa market. Yeah, she's she's a, a definite rock star agent out there, but. Thank you again. I appreciate it. We'll do this again so we can get some more knowledge on Hoodle and, and more about Ron and what Ron's doing. Thank you, Tamara. You're welcome. You have a great rest of your day. Uh, all right, you too.